Hey everyone, it's Misty from the Joy Fit Elf. Welcome back to another Plan With Me video. Today I'm gonna to be planning for the month of August in my Plum Paper Family Planner. I'm gonna be working on the August tab as well as the month of August. So let me get started. I'm gonna be using these stickers from Echo Park. I think it's called Beach Party. And this is from their Photo Freedom line, so you can check this out. Um, you could probably find it at um, joeins.com or a cherry on top. That's where I mostly get mastikas from. So let me get started. I'm gonna use this sticker strip to do, to cover up this tab. You guys are having a fantastic week. We made it to August, which is crazy insane. You know what? Let's put this over here. Oops. There is a bird going crazy outside my window. I don't know what his damage is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oops, see that's copyrighted. Don't see that. Let's see if I can find some cute washi. Because I pulled out some colors for the month view. I'm still using summertime stickers because it's hotter than hell in Texas. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. It's hot in Texas. It's hot here in Texas. In Texas, it's hot. which I hardly ever use because, uh, hello, it's glitter. So now I have all my exes live in Texas on my head, in case you wanted to know. <laughs> oh, goodness. I swear my brain is 90% um, song lyrics. I think I saw a t-shirt like that somewhere. And hello. Who doesn't love King George? He is always has and always will be my favorite. I actually have his autograph. I've had his autograph since I was four, five. My mom, he came to uh, my hometown when he very first got started and he stayed, my, my husband, my uncle was worked maintenance at the hotel, or the, mo basically the motel he stayed, I think it was Holiday Inn, or Ramada, that he stayed in, and George asked my uncle to drive him around where we lived, and my uncle was like, sure, absolutely, and then George invited him to um, an after party, so he said, you know, can I bring somebody with me, and George is like, sure, bring whoever you want, so he took my mom, and my mom finally got a chance to talk to George Strait, and she said, you know, my daughter loves you. And I was literally three or four at the time. And she said, can I have an autograph? So I have an autograph that says, for Misty, love George Strait. And it's in a frame, and it's been in a frame for ever. And it'll probably always be in that frame. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever take it out. So love you, George. Love you. 
And I haven't seen him. I didn't get the chance to see him again um, live. But my husband, Rob, bought me the um, Cowboy Rides Away tour DVD and CD thing for Christmas. So there's that. <laughs> But yeah, I know the word to every song on his um, greatest hits, his first two greatest hits CDs. So, and my absolute favorite song by George Strait is bum, ba, da, da, Unwound. Unwound is my most favorite song he's ever done. I absolutely love it. And it was funny because when Easton Corbin first came out, Easton Corbin sounds very similar to George Strait. Um, sounded when he first came out. Those like unwound and um, like Does Fort Worth Ever Cross Your Mind and Amarillo by Morning, those very first songs. So I was like, oh, Easton Corbin, who are you? <laughs> Get it, boy. That's good. So let's move to the month. The month of August. The month of August is a little bit busier than the month of July was. <clears throat> okay. So birthdays. I just have dos birthdays. I think I'm gonna use a red. I'm going to use my Pilot V Razor Point Extra Fine. And I'm going to write down Hector, who I need to get a card in, money in the mail for. Hector is my nephew. Janet is an employee. So... Hope surgery, Janet's baby shower. Conference day. Fall semester. Yep, in my head. I'm using this polka dot because it goes with this swimsuit that I'm going to use. And it's cute. And I think it's crooked. <laughs> Whatever, it's alright. So, um, the other day in the Gone Wild planner group, or one of the planner groups, I don't remember which one exactly, someone posted an article about reborn babies. And I was like, what the heck is that about? And I read it, and oh my word. If you've never heard of it, a reborn baby is a baby doll that has been designed to look or resemble a, a real baby or a real toddler. Um, I don't know if they make them any bigger than that, but... And 
they are number one hella expensive and number two so realistic <laughs> And I've been watching, there are tons and tons of YouTube channels with people who do like a day in the life of their reborn baby or they take their baby, you know, to the doctor, take them to, um, you know, take them to Walmart or take them out shopping. And it's, uh, it's so fascinating to me. I've just been addicted. Because number one, like some of these channels have, one channel has almost 200,000 subscribers. And basically all her videos are either unboxing or like feeding her baby doll or taking her baby doll out. And I'm just like, holy Moses. <laughs> I told Rob, I was like, I need to get a baby. They are cute as they can be. I mean, they are such, they're so pretty. But like some of them are, like I found a couple of dolls um, and basically there's two kinds. There's vinyl and then there's silicone. And a vinyl baby runs anywhere between a couple of hundred to a thousand dollars. The silicone babies start at a thousand and the most most of the ones I saw run around twenty five hundred, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, and these people are like serious doll collectors and they are really I mean they're so they're so creepy they're cute <laughs> they really are and I'm not passing judgment so if you're in that community or whatever you're not going to hear any judgment from me I just find it completely fascinating and I've just been like whoa so whoa okay so I need some birthday stickers. So it was funny because a lot of women get these dolls to help them deal like if they have infertility issues, if they've lost a the baby, you know, these really serious issues, which I can, like I said, I'm not passing any judgment whatsoever. I find it absolutely fascinating. And they say that it can really help with stress or with, um, you know, just dealing with life in general. So I was told Rob, I was like, you know, maybe I need to get one. And, and I was being totally serious. I was like, maybe I need to get one and like put a bassinet in the guest room or something like that. But we we're trying to get out of debt. I don't need to be buying a baby that I probably would never, I mean, I, I don't think I would ever play with it. So. I'm so excited for Rob. I don't think I told you guys that he got a glowing review. Um, and it, like he got the highest you can score and he's only been with the company for three years. And so he gets a bonus. So he gets a bonus at the end of the month. So I'm so proud of him. He's worked his butt off. So good job, baby. He's not watching this, but good job to him anyway. Oh, and if you haven't already, make sure you check out my new channel, At Home with Miss D. I posted a husband tag. So you can see Rob and I <laughs> doing that. So Hector is the 17th. Janet is the 18th. Oh, it was really funny. He's hilarity. Like, he doesn't even mean to be hilarious, and he is hilarious. All right, I want a pink ribbon for Hope's surgery. Um, I think I mentioned Hope is my, my employee that's having breast cancer surgery. And I wanna, we're gonna take up a collection to send her some flowers. That's the other thing I forgot. I'm filming this on Saturday. You're not seeing this until probably Thursday. So this has already all happened and I will post an update um, on Sunday when I post the next Playing With Me video to give you guys an idea of how that went and how she's doing.
Oh, there is the garage door opener. Okay, Hector, hold the surgery. Oh, Janet's baby shower. Do I have another? Do I have anything babyish? I, 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 I don't think I have any babies. Baby things. Maybe this will work. goes with my beach theme. It's also her last day. Dang, and I put her birthday down. Oh well. She, um, she's not due until the 1st of August and um, she's so tiny. I mean, she's just tiny. And so the doctor is taking the baby early. So she's actually leaving sooner than we, we had hoped. So we're gonna miss her for sure. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to decide how I want to document this all day conference that we have on that Friday. These are the new Libby and Company um, Plum paper stickers. Okay, I think that's it for now. So let me fill in and then we will get to decorating. So I need to switch pens, switch pens. Let me switch my pens. I'm really not thank yous. And then another one of my employees, um, her daughter had her baby early last week. He weighs like a pound and like eight ounces or something. She, her blood pressure got to 180 over 160. Oh, so they had to end up taking him. So he's gonna be in NICU for a long time, but hopefully he's a fighter. We're pulling for him, so. Hector will be 18. Is that gonna smear? Yup. Because why? Because I forgot. 
you really got to use a Sharpie or a ballpoint pen. And then this is fall classes. Right, all right. So let's decorate. Oh, hello. <laughs> um. Oh, what's the name of that group? Really, Misty? They sing Summertime? What is the name of that group? They also sing Santeria. What is the name of that group? Anyway, their song is stuck in my head. <laughs> Sublime, that's the name of that group. Told you, jukebox all the time. stickers these are fun yes <laughs> sorry <laughs> I know some people hate that but I think it's hilarity I just remembered that we need to go do our big shopping trip on July, f I mean July. Misty, this is August, August 15th. We are gonna do our big shopping trip at Sam's. You guys have heard me talk about it before. We were supposed to go on the first, but Rob made plans with a friend to have lunch and I just didn't feel good. So, and I was up all night, all night long. So, functioning on just a few hours. So, I decided not to. Now I have Santeria stuck in my head. Okay. Am I forgetting anything? Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. At all. Oh, yeah. Mm, how am I going to work that? I can't t tell you guys what this is about <sighs> yet. But hopefully it'll be good news. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Okay guys, bye to see it. 
that's it for monthly spread for now. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember, these stickers come from a cherry on top, and I'm not able to link them because they may or may not be available. But you can just go to cherryontop.com or scrapbook.com. There's a lot of places that sell cardstock stickers. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.